Hi everyone, I'm Sheila, and um, I have problems that most a lot a lot of families are facing, and it's about house cleaning and uh, getting your house in order and an on a routine cleaning schedule. This I'm hoping that this will inspire me and motivate me more to get things done and do it, do it in a way that I'm not going to be beating myself up about but I'm having fun and enjoying the process and blessing my family. You may notice that uh, in my sink is some purple wands that's got like scrub brushes and there's one hanging up here on the wall um, well, for the last year and a half, I've been trying the Fly Lady um, advice that off of her website, flylady.net. And last year, during Thanksgiving and Christmas, it worked for me. Um, I finally got um, the concept of cruising through the holidays, and I had all of my Thanksgiving preparations done even though we had a medical situation with my mom and it put a threw a monkey wrench into the plan but because I had everything already planned out and, and prepared we were able to make minor adjustments to our Thanksgiving feast in November um, without too much difficulty and that spread through till Christmas getting things prepared for um, the, the presents and the meals and wrapping and, and all of that. Um, and then at, on Christmas Day, we had a major snowstorm come through our um, community. And um, my folks were afraid that, you know, they live out in the country. And my dad was worried that they would get snowed in on their road and then mom have my mom had some medical problems that he wouldn't be able to get her to the hospital. So on Christmas Day, they moved into our house, and they were they lived with us for about two weeks, and everything was running so smoothly. Then in January, my mom had to go through surgery for um, replacing her pacemaker with a defibrillator uh, pacemaker. And, um, um, they, uh, she went through the surgery and got, um, went through it okay. We had to go through rehabilitation for about two or three months at the uh, nursing home close to our house. Um, and then she was back home, and two weeks after she was back home, she had another setback. They, we rushed her to the hospital. She was in the hospital for about two weeks, and the doctor said things were very were much more serious. And she was aspirating everything, and she may not get over the pneumonia that she had. She was aspirating even on her own saliva. It was that serious. Well, she didn't want to have any more intubations or shock therapy or anything like that even though she had a, a bad heart so she moved back into the nursing home for uh, you know for just going to be a short time until she got all, got her strength back and over her pneumonia and she would be back home and then she was only there for four days and she passed away that was two and a half weeks ago and um, I know it's it, it's it's still hard for me, but she all of her life was about a struggle. Uh, she struggled with her weight. She struggled with her own house cleaning issues. She didn't have the the good tutorial instructions from her own mother on how to keep house. Um, and so she did the best she could, which wasn't 
good enough for my dad's mom in some ways. But differences aside, you know, she became very, very close to my grandmother. And, um, and now that I've reached a new chapter in my life without my mom around, I want to accomplish some of those issues that my mom was never able to accomplish. So, uh, I'm going to start by shining my sink. I'm going to follow Fly Lady's methods. I've seen a lot of other videos on YouTube. Um, other people that are following uh, the Fly Lady advice or um, or have in the past. Uh, Mary from Drab Mama, D R A B M A M A, uh, something like that. Um, she's from Canada. She's a very, very sweet lady. I've watched many of her videos. Um, she um, seemed to have the same kind of issues with her house cleaning, although she's got a much, not, much, much nicer looking house than mine. But um, I envy you, Mary. <laughs> Uh, but um, I've I had a sink full of dishes. I managed to get them all here in the um, dishwasher. Well, the top rack's full. I still have to finish the bottom rack. And the reason why it's at this odd angle is it's one of those roller type of um, uh, uh, what what dishwashers. Um, it rolls around the room. It's you know like a portable thing. So. Uh, we were in the process of remodeling our house and we just never got to the kitchen yet so so um i'm going to just do the best i can like the fly lady advises you know you work with what you have you don't beat yourself up and um you take things a little bit at a time little baby steps at a time and um i want to try to post my progress um, about this on the internet maybe as a way to encourage other ladies that other or other families that struggle with the same issues that I am with their house or um, and just maybe simply motivating myself to keep at it because you know I've got you know I'm thinking if I did this I have to post this on the YouTube people are going to be wondering what's my progress doing and I want to I want to have a good outcome you know I want to I want to I want to accomplish the goals that unfortunately my mom was never able to um, and um, one of those uh, goals too is weight you know she had a weight issue and she struggled with it all her life and I myself have a weight issue too. I need to get healthier, but my house needs to be healthier, not just me individually. I need the whole house, the whole family, we all need to be healthier. And if it starts with shining my sink to, to, to find a glimmer of happiness and a glimmer of sunshine in my kitchen each day, then it's going to start with my sink and it can spread throughout my house and into my heart and into my family's heart um, because it did at Christmas I was oh so I was following Violet's advice all through the holidays and Christmas and the two weeks that we had my mom here in our house and it was the most wonderful time I you know usually you can't get along with your in-laws or you know after a, after a couple of days you want them to leave I didn't feel that way at all this time around and I'm so so grateful and thankful for that time I had to spend with my mom in my own house in a very peaceful environment a clean and healthy environment and since January to April 30th my house went into chaos because my focus wasn't on my house. It was on my mom's health issues. And uh, I know my mom 
wanted her home to be a happy environment and a healthy environment she just didn't have the proper instruction or encouragement or motivation she desperately needed to accomplish those goals and from what I've watched on YouTube because she didn't have internet like I do that's what I've seen on YouTube and Fly, Fly Lady's videos and I've read some of her book uh, Sync Reflections and uh, I'm, I'm beginning to feel that that encouragement that glimmer of hope that yes I can accomplish some of these things and I'm not alone in this world and in this struggle because there's a lot of other ladies and and even men out there that are struggling with the same problems the chaos just gets so overwhelming you shut down well I I'm a little more determined spirit than my mom was um, and I want to accomplish this um, so it's gonna start with my sink and next time I post another video on here I'll I want to show you some of the progress I've made thanks for watching and God bless all of you